Hey guys, welcome to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're gonna be looking at, at some glass orbs. So this is a classic tutorial on YouTube, but it nobody ever gives you that good of a glass orb. So I decided to make a good tutorial how to make two types of glass orbs. Now every glass orb needs a gradient and a shine. So I'm going to show you how to make those types. So we're gonna make our first glass orb. Go to shape, ellipse tool, holding down shift, drag out your perfect circle. Then we're gonna go to our blending options accessed by double clicking on our shape that we just made. We're gonna go to gradient overlay. No, oh, sorry, that's color overlay. We're gonna go to gradient overlay. And we're gonna choose two colors. The down color should be, let's say, B. A F F, uh, let's say nine C, or uh, yeah, that's good. And the upper color should be, let's say some same green but dark. O E two F zero zero, and click OK. Now, oh those are some cool colors you bet we're gonna go to inner shadow we we'll set our distance to zero size to opacity to 100% and blend mode to normal 100% angle it doesn't really matter because distance is at zero size is going to be here. Yeah, that's good. Now we're gonna go and click OK. That's for our shape. Now to create a shine, we're gonna go to our elliptical marquee tool and we're gonna make a ellipse and center it by holding space and dragging it somewhere up here and just letting go then go to edit fill use white and click OK control D to deselect and layer we're gonna go to layer mask another layer mask we're gonna go to gradient black to white and we're gonna drag from somewhere right about here to up to the edge of our shine and we're gonna change the opacity now yeah that's good that's really good so how about our first orb yeah it's cool I guess so we're gonna stick to our background selecting BG and we're gonna select our shape one with our orb and with our shine sh select both of them holding down shift select shape one and then sh layer one Let's press Control J, and we're gonna name this first orb. We're gonna go to new layer for second orb. In this to this orb, we're gonna do something a bit special. So same principle. We're gonna make a perfect circle. Click space to center it wherever you want or position it. 
and basically the shine is the same but what you do behind the shine is how your uh, really your orb looks so we created our shape we're gonna go to blending options again we're gonna choose gradient overlay again basically every orb consists of uh, a gradient overlay and a shine so we're gonna go to our style radial normal blend mode normal opacity 100 colors now these colors I don't know straight from my mind but it should be somewhere right here if you want to copy it it's 00C0FF pause it if you want to see it better and for the other color it should be something darker just like this uh, that's perfect next what we're gonna do is inner shadow again and we're gonna go to s minus 60 as our angle you can tick global light yes tick global light opacity 100 blend mode normal color black of course distance oh, like this 55 I guess but I think your orb won't be the same size so it doesn't really matter and then size no let's smaller distance size huh that's good choke well we're not going to choke so how about that uh, no distance a bit more yeah then click OK now we're gonna click Control J to copy our layer and we're gonna go to fill zero on this layer copy and we're gonna go to gradient overlay we don't see it and go to our inner shadow choose color choose color let's see let's choose some oh my god this is buggy color choose trum, trum, trum. that color and click OK now we're gonna go to distance something smaller So it looks like it's a bit inner. This shadow of shadow of ours angle is still at minus 60. Use global light, blend mode normal, opacity 100. So distance is at 7, size is at tw 27. The options are completely depending on you and how you like it to be now click OK and now basically it's just the shine that is absolutely similar to this one absolutely similar again elliptical marquee do, does the trick with all the shines really go to edit fail again white again Control D to deselect again, and now we could go to mask tool again. Gradient black to white, same thing over and over again. That's why I sounds so boring. Oh uh, no, this maybe look better than this one. Oh, really? I don't care. 
can tweak it to your light your liking and now what we're just gonna do is click ctrl T for our tri free transform tool on our shine and we're gonna flip it and position it right here so our gloss really looks that it's coming from right here so basically this is how to create some fun orbs in Adobe Photoshop thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful I hope you enjoyed comment rate and subscribe